Hi, my name's uh, Darren Steiner. I'm 37 years old. I live in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Just to share a little bit with you about my experiences in life and what the plant medicines have done for me. Um, I just remember back when I was a child, as far back as I can remember, I always lived in a lot of <coughs> a lot of fear. Um, I was just very violent at a young age. I grew up with a father who was a, an alcoholic and basically the only time I could ever see him was when I went to the bar with him. And also a strong Christian church, which I feel now that also created a lot of fear in me. And as I grew up, I seen a lot of violence with my dad in fighting and drinking, the way they talk, the way they act and I became that. My dad was my hero, so I became that. I mimicked everything he did. And the only time I got the attention was when I would lash out and do something, something, get into a fight or something. That's when I got his attention and he was proud of me. So I thrived on that. And, and then I started drinking at a young age, around 12, doing drugs. And that's when the real problem started. I was getting into fights every week, getting kicked out of schools. I went to prison uh, when I was 17 for 65 days, and then again when I was 19 for another 30. I was charged probably nine times and convicted in my life of assaults and thefts and robberies and, and threats and breaching my probation. And it, it was just a mess. And then I was introduced to psychiatrists who diagnosed me with bipolar disorder, um, manic depressant, OCD, ADHD, um, anxiety disorder, and they just pumped me full of medication for, for years, for years, and it, uh, it just, it caused me to just I had no power, I had nothing, and I had to take that pill to, to function most days. And when I didn't, you'd be going through just hell and withdrawal, and it, it was a nightmare. So I got off that, and I just started self-medicating with cocaine, with alcohol, with GHB, with opiates, and the fights continued, like major, major fighting. So violent, so angry. Um, and I started getting a lot of injuries. I had a couple surgeries on my leg, uh, two herniated discs in my back, a bulging disc in my back, separated shoulders, many concussions. I was stabbed three times, um, but I thrived on that. It made me, it just made me feel good because that's when I got attention. That's when I was respected, or respected, feared, because I was so violent, people were so afraid of me, and my body was just not resonating with this. It, it just took a toll on me so much because your, your natural body is love, your pure love, and I was countering that with all this fear and jealousy and security, and, and then the drugs continued more and more and more. Um, and I just wasn't getting anywhere. I, it was just a mess, and, and it got so bad to the point when I, when I finally started to clean myself up, I had a near-death horrific accident that I don't want to really get into that almost cost me the life of myself and somebody else, and that pretty much said that's enough. I've had enough. I had probably 10, 15, 20 near-death experiences, but this one, when I almost killed somebody else, that that really took a toll on me so I went into rehab <coughs> three months cleaned myself up but I still had no idea I, I, I got off the drugs and alcohol and stayed off and it wasn't until I went to Thailand two years ago and I lived in the jungle for three months with an awakened shaman if you will and he kind of just broke it down the effects and like no other doctor has ever had on me before. I've seen many in Western culture. 
I broke down the effects of your parents, your, your politicians, your priests, your teachers, and the effects it has on you and what happens to you as fear develops and trauma develops. And, and it really woke me up. I haven't touched a drink or drug since. But it took time. Like It took me a few years, and then I came to Peru. I was sober, but I wasn't feeling good. I was never happy yet. Never feeling good about myself, never loving myself. And it wasn't until I came to Thailand, or uh, Peru, sorry, uh, in March, which was about seven months ago, that I started experiencing ayahuasca and numerous plant medicines, including sapo, uh, yopo, San Pedro, ayahuasca, DMT, and a lot of other plant medicines to rebuild the mind, body, and spirit. And the effects this had on me is just indescribable. I couldn't sit for more than five minutes before I came here without having to get up, move around, do this, do that. And these medicines have just lifted so much fear and trauma out of me. And it's been very, very, very painful. My experience on ayahuasca have, have been, like I said before, like an exorcism coming out of me just the most unbelievable experiences but I'm at a point now where I'm just so unbelievably grateful because I'm so relaxed I'm so calm I'm just finally at peace for the first time in my life I love myself which is making me love other people I just I, you know, I don't have that violent side of me anymore I don't have that anger it's probably a little bit still in there but I, did, I look back and I cannot even fathom what I used to do with, with the drugs, fighting. It, it just, it, it's not me. It wasn't me. And, and just at a, a state of bliss now. And I'm just so thankful that I was introduced to this ayahuasca because it, it changed my life more than anything in the world. It makes me just, brings me to tears a lot of times because I can't believe the person I am today. And for that, I'm grateful. I've got a few more months. I'm just sticking it out in here, doing a bunch of other plant medicines to rebuild the body and mind and spirit. And I'm, I'm just so excited for the future now. I look forward to the future. I look forward to. I look forward to today. I don't, you know, I don't worry about the past anymore. I don't think too far ahead. I'm more or less in the present. And just nothing but bliss keeps coming to me because I've changed everything about myself and I'm not drawing in that fear, that negativity, that violence and the people that come with that. It's just nothing but great people that I'm meeting and great opportunities are coming and just, just that a sense of peace. And for that I am just forever grateful. Thank you.